Hey, what's up, coin hunters? Welcome to a 10 pence coin hunt. All right, as always, we are looking for any 10 pences that shouldn't be in here. So anything that's, well, basically Isle of Man and stuff. <laughs> and we are looking also for the alphabets, which seem to have dried up recently. After finding a couple over a couple of videos, we haven't found anything. Last video, nothing, nothing at all. But hopefully this video will change it and we're gonna start getting alphabets turning up again very, very soon. Um, uh, bag number one. As you can see, nothing. Let's try bag number two, shall we? There. Oh, I thought there was something where that queen, the way the queen was there, but it's just the trick of the light. The trick of the light. The tr light always tricks me. Got camera show on there, but it's just a lion. them in there so guys have you had any awesome finds when it comes to 10 pences in your change um, anything from the British Isles or have you been given a foreign coin by mistake um, it does happen sometimes cashiers they just they're so busy in such a rush that they um, don't even really look I know how that feels. I used to work in a massive supermarket. And when you're in a rush, you don't really look at the coins. You just know where the coins are in the tier and just poof, 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 like that. Right. If I still worked in the supermarket, obviously I'll be looking at every single coin that comes in through my till. But when you're actually doing that job you don't look and I spent 14 years ish working in that shop from 1997 yeah to 2011 I worked there so I just think all the coins that went through my hand I didn't obviously work on the tills the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I did do everything else. I was um, a fishmonger for a bit. We used to actually have um, a guy when people used to ask if they, like, we clean the fish. So I know how to guard and clean fish properly. Um, even though it's quite funny, I have a shellfish allergy. <laughs> And for a year, I worked as a fishmonger <laughs> in a supermarket. Um, so I had to be super careful. Um, even now, my wife loves um, eating prawns and other shellfish. And I prepare, I prepare them for her and cook them. But when I prepare them, I have to wear gloves. Otherwise, I get um, like my whole hands. You can see how my hands are rough. It's just where I haven't creamed them from the um, air conditioning from the bus. Well, the heating and the air conditioning. Um, but when it comes to, say, like cleaning prawns, I have to wear rubber gloves. Otherwise, my hands swell. I massively swell. And I do remember once we went out and I had a allergic reaction in the restaurant and it wasn't fun I can laugh about it now but at the time I was scared I was really really scared it was like actually one of the scariest moments of my life um, I didn't realize there was um, oyster but what I find weird is I can eat oyster sauce I don't know if it's because it's fermented and it's like whatever um, causes the reaction 
is probably out of it by then. I have no idea. But I actually ate an oyster by mistake. Um, it was a cooked one. Was it an oyster? It was something like an oyster. Um, and I was sitting there. And you know when you can't, like I was sitting there just, and all of a sudden I just couldn't breathe. And my chest was burning. And I thought, like, have I, like, got cold? And then, like, I just couldn't, couldn't um, even think straight. I couldn't breathe. And the only time that's ever happened to me is I had a respirator on. And I wanted to test, then we got a finder, um, test um, what happens if I put my hands over the intakes. And it was literally that. Right, we got a 1992 jersey. Oh, and there we go. I've got that one in my collection. So that one's going to go back into circulation. Um, and hopefully one of you guys will find it. Um, yeah, so I couldn't breathe. I had um, a rash come up on my chest. My wife actually said I looked like, when I took my shirt off, um, it looked like... I had the Batman logo across my chest um, from the rash. And the only other time I had an allergic reaction is I have a bad allergy to alcohol, if you believe it or not. I actually have an allergy to all alcohol and I found that out <laughs> on the day I drunk alcohol for the first time and you know when you're like a naughty kid and you nick your parents drinks well basically I did that and it backfired massively um, spent some time in hospital but that first no one realized what was going on and then I ended up spending time in hospital for that so since then I've stayed well clear and that includes deodorants so even though I'm a massive fan of Lynx deodorant and I think I have every fragrance they have um, I have to spray the Lynx on my clothes on the outside <laughs> and try not to get any on my skin because if I get any like um I did buy a roll-on and not read the instructions, um, not the instructions, the ingredients properly and it did have alcohol in and it burned my skin, literally burned my skin off. Um, so like I could peel the skin off, which wasn't pleasant. But yeah, so so far we found that one jersey but no um alphabets we got two bags after this to go through um no alphabets at all these little monsters seem to be evading me now was a bit lucky i think a while back but now they are avoiding me they don't like me anymore all right next one here we go let's just, just have a quick peek across this one let's whisper so if there is an alphabet we don't scare it nope can't see one no come on where are you little monsters no, no, no. Obviously, we could tell if they're there just by looking at the front of the coin. Because right next to the queen, it will say 10 pence. Oh, we got another jersey there. What year is this? 2002. So we've gone up 10 years. So 2002 jersey. <coughs> lots and lots of jerseys. Uh, well, lots and lots, two, 
But then two is lots and lots for a 10 pence con, isn't it? All right, so let's put that there and let's look at the last bag. Here we go. Last bag of the video. So yeah, we've been finding jerseys and jerseys, haven't we? But we haven't been finding any any Isle of Man or Gibraltar or anything recently. Hmm, interesting. Let's see if there's another jersey in here. <laughs> Probably not, but two is brilliant. Always good to have a couple of uh, finds in a video, especially when you don't get this type of video where we don't have finds all the time. And the last bag was nothing. So, out of all of them, where are you? let me just grab that. There we go. We got two jerseys. One from 1992 and one from 2002. Very, very cool indeed. Now I can't remember if I have the 2002, so I'm going to put that up on my shelf. And this one I'm going to throw back into circulation. So guys, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. So take care, guys. And happy coin hunting. Goodbye.